Hello and welcome to World Watch on Oweleka TV. I am Michael Ekene. Donald Trump and his campaign are seeking to harness that pace in the lead up to November with plans to aggressively ramp up the former president's schedule, hone his debate skills and cultivate a new grand game strategy titled early voting state sources with sources familiar with the strategy shift to CNN. The new approach is itself an acknowledgement that Trump's campaign has struggled to adapt to the fast-changing political landscape after President Joe Biden ended his campaign less than four months before Election Day. A group of bipartisan U.S. lawmakers on a tax force looking into the assassination attempt against former President Trump are expected to visit the shooting scene in Butler, Pennsylvania on Monday, some for the second time since the July 13 incident. House Speaker Mike Johnson and Minority Leader Hakeem Jeffries on August 4 announced the establishment of the tax force on the assassination attempt against Trump and top Republican Pennsylvania Senator Mike Kelly to lead the committee. In the United States, Robert F. Kennedy Jr. suspended his independent candidacy for the presidential election to support Donald Trump in the race for the White House in November. In a speech Friday, the nephew of President John F. Kennedy, a heavyweight in the history of the Democratic Party, said he wanted to withdraw from the states where the battle is raging because he believed his presence in the race would benefit Democratic opponent Kamala Harris. Robert Kennedy did acknowledge that his decision to support Donald Trump had caused tensions within his immediate family. Russian forces launched a barrage of drone and missile attacks aimed at energy infrastructure across Ukraine overnight, killing at least three people as Ukrainian officials reported power outages in several cities. Ukraine's Air Force on Monday said it detected dozens of missiles and drones targeting almost all regions of the country, including the capital Kiev and the southern port city of Odessa. A Syrian man turned himself in and confessed to stabbing to death three people and wounding several others at a festival in the western German city of Solingen on Friday, police said. Two men aged 67 and 56 and a woman aged 56 died in the attack which has shocked Germany and prompted opposition parties to call for tighter rules on migrants. German prosecutors accused the 26-year-old of being a member of ISIS. The militant group claimed the attack through its AMAC news service. However, it offered no evidence to back up its claim. Let's take a short break. Still to come our news on entertainment and sports. Follow us on our social media handles at Oweleke TV. Visit our website at www.oweleke.tv for a thrilling journey. Oweleke TV, rising star at the fairground. Welcome back. The final tennis Grand Slam of 2024 is upon us and as home crowd spotlight shines down on the Ulster Billie Jean King National Tennis Center, one of the best players to come out of America since the eras of King and the Williams sisters is going for a second U.S. Open title in a row. Coco Golf is the defending champion at Flushing Meadows, having beaten Ariana Zabalenka 2-6-6-3-6-2 in last year's decider and head of the 2024 tournament, is one of several American players hoping to make a big impact at the U.S. Open with five seeded within the top 14 coming into the women's competition in Queens. Noni Madweke wearing Chelsea's blue strip smiles as he throws the ball in the air with his right hand and looks up at it, smiling after scoring his third goal at Wolves, Noni Madweke was given the freedom of Wolverhampton just hours after insulting the city. Wolves granted the winger all space he wanted to score a 15-minute hard trick as Chelsea trashed Wolves 6 to at Molineux on Sunday. Pop music icon Katy Perry is a force to be reckoned with since her music career launched in 2008. The 39-year-old singer has consistently been in the spotlight and recently gave fans a glimpse into her personal life during an appearance of Ryan's secret radio show. 
from creating controversial music to her boss worthy moment as an American Idol judge, Perry opened up about how her spirituality championed her through tough times. That's what we have for you on World Watch on Oweleka TV. I am Michael Ekene.